with another new tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to make this presentation slides in just PowerPoint without wasting time. Let's start. Change the background color by choosing mouse right click and then format background. Change the solid fill by choosing this color. And then I will go to shape and insert a rectangular smooth rounded shape and rotate it 90 degrees. Now change the size to 5 by 7, bring it to the center. And then I will insert a new oval shape and draw a small circle up there. By holding Ctrl and Shift, I will copy it and drag it down. Again, I will do the same step four times. Now I will choose all shapes and from shape format I will go to merge shapes and choose subtract. Now remove the line from the shape and then duplicate it by pressing Ctrl G and shift it to the other side. Now I will draw a small rectangular shape again at the side corner down. Make it a little bigger and arrange it. Now I'll choose all shapes and press Ctrl G and change its color to this color. Now I will insert again a text and write a letter D there. Change the text color. Bring it to the center and change the size and font type. Now we will add shadow to our shape from shape options and we'll go to shadow and choose the upright corner. Increase the transparency to 50, blur to 3, and distance to 5. Now click on the shape and duplicate it by clicking Ctrl and G, place it in the center and make it smaller from both sizes. Move this small rectangular up and write down C, change the color, and then duplicate it again by pressing Ctrl G, repeat the same steps, change the color, write the letter and then make it a little bit smaller. Remove the small triangle up there and write letter P. Change the font color. Again, repeat the same steps for the last time. Make it a little bit smaller. Change the color and write letter A and move it a little up there. And now we are ready. I'll choose the shapes one by one and double click on the left side and choose no fill for one by one. I will remove all colors from the left side shapes and then I will go to the green one and I will duplicate it by pressing Ctrl G and from rotate I will rotate it horizontally and now I will fill it with pink color. Now I will add a line in the middle and increase the width up to 7 pt. I will give it the same background color. Now we will add shadow to our new shape by going to effects and add shadow from there. The blur will be 3 pt and the distance will be 5 pt and the transparency will be 50%. Now I will draw a line for the new shapes by insert text box and keep on drawing lines there. Now to not waste your time guys, I just prepared the text and photos I will add to the shapes there. So the first page I will just copy and paste from there. Now I will choose the first page and all new text and merge it together by pressing Ctrl G and then send it to the back. Now I will repeat the same steps for the second page and I will merge it together and now I will send it back. And then I will repeat the same steps for the third page, just copy and paste and select all and press Ctrl G to merge it together. Mouse right click and then send it back. Repeat the same steps for the fourth page and merge it together and then send it back. And now our first page came back to the front. And now I will duplicate the left side shape and rotate it horizontally and right at the middle the end and then change the font size and color and merge it together and send it back. So now we are ready. So I will add the 3D effects from effects. I will go to 3D rotation and from, from there I will choose above 3D 
I will choose it one by one and change it to 3D shapes. Since we merge it together, all will change to 3D, including the text and the images. So now, last thing to do is to add a spiral shape to our book so it will look real. So from shape, I will add an arc. I will draw it right there, change it to black color. Increase the width up to 2. And then modify it so it will look like a spiral shape for the book. Now duplicate it by holding Ctrl Shift and make it double. Again, double it there to the second holes, third and last. So now our shapes looks like real and we will start adding the animation. I duplicated the slides and then from 3D rotation I will modify the X rotation up to 120, bring it above and then continue up to 180 degrees. Remove all text from the shape there and bring the spiral shapes to the front. Choose it all and bring it to the front. Now I will duplicate the slide, mouse right click and choose duplicate and repeat the same steps. X rotation 110, bring it above and continue to 180 degrees and then remove all the text and images and then bring the spiral shapes to the front. Again for the third page, I will duplicate the slide from the left side and then rotate it to 120, bring it to the front and continue to 180 degrees, modify the location, bring the spiral shapes to the front, and remove all text. Again, I will do the same steps for the last page, but I will change the font color to black, so it will be more visible. Again, bring it to the front, and now our shape is ready. Now select all the slides we have created and from transition apply morph and our presentation is ready to be in action. So now our presentation is on. You can download this template for free from the video description. If you like the video, please hit the button like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching.